Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about more Icon SBC stuff, but again in a different way. And I kinda of wanna to talk to you about a method that I've been seeing on Twitter and that I've been seeing people do throughout the course of this year um, that is a way to make coins and it's especially effective right now with the market being so high. So we all know that the situation with these Icon Moments SBCs and the Prime Icon SBCs that EA put out um, on Friday. They gave us the Hullet, they gave us the Eusebio, Ronaldinho, all those guys in the Prime versions because they said that uh, their Prime Icon Moments versions would be too much uh, for the FIFA market, too much um, for people to complete on this game. Without getting into that whole conversation or ordeal, um, tons of people are doing these SBCs right now. Ronaldinho, I've seen so many pictures on Twitter today of people tweeting out that they have done Hullet, that they have done Ronaldinho, maybe a, a Vieira or two, and of course Eusebio. I think those are kind of the most popular versions, and a lot of people were looking forward to the Prime Icon Moments SBCs, uh, but looks like we're only gonna get the Prime version. So people are going out and doing those cards, which I totally understand why. But because of that, and I talked about this in my video yesterday, the gold market is very, very inflated. And here we are again looking at the gold market. We have 86s at 23 to 25K. We have the 85 rated players at like 11 to 12K. We have 87s that are well over 30,000 coins, 88s that are 40K. Now these are down just a tiny bit from what they were. They were up a little bit more, uh, but they're still very, very high. And people are still continuing to do these SBCs based on how these prices look. Uh, it's pretty obvious to tell that they are doing more of these SBCs. So right now, what I've seen people doing, I'm gonna actually go onto Twitter here in just a second and show you guys a post that I saw today. This made me kind of start to think about this and realize of how good this is. Um, you can do league SBCs right now. We're gonna take a look on Footbin as well at some of like the league SBC costs and stuff like that. But basically you can do these SBCs right now, even if you just pick and choose certain um, SBCs that are inside of one of the leagues. So let's say the La Liga SBC, you look in there and there's a couple SBCs that maybe cost you five to 10K to complete and you get like a, a 35K pack in return. Uh, you can do a lot of those SBCs right now and actually make pretty good profit from them. So first off, we're gonna go back over here to Twitter and take a look at Matt Foot Trading's tweet. Um, this is one of the trading guys that I follow. He's taught me a lot during the year. And this is the post that he made today. Clocking off for the night after hitting the La Liga SBC for the second time today. This one we made a pure profit of 45K on top of getting the 87 rated SBC card, Umtiti, 70K value, which I would agree with. All players that I bought went along selling anything of value and storing all the La Liga players for the SBC. So this is kind of like a picture of his spreadsheet that he had here and basically he went by team and he looked at the cost and how much he got in return. And based on what he pulled, these were his two most impressive packs. He got a Dolfleu Man of the Match card, which is uh, Insta selling at 70K because it's extinct. And he got this pack with Dante and Courtois. Now that's a really good pack. That's not an average pack, but he got that in a higher, uh, like look at the pack value, it's all uh, it's all players and there is six golds it looks like. So this is a pretty high value pack and I would say that is pretty average or right around a, maybe a smidge above average pack lock. Depending on what he got throughout the rest of this SBC, um, I think this is something that a lot of people are doing. There, this is something that a lot of people are doing and people have been doing it for the entirety of the year and they've been just repeating and repeating these league SBCs and they've been making profit on them. Now, obviously, if you, if you look at the, the La Liga SBC, the La Liga Santander SBC, if you go to squad building challenges and we look at this, it says it costs you a total of 352,000 coins to complete from scratch. Now, obviously, you're gonna include some of the players that you have in your club, maybe some silvers. If you do this just one time, you're gonna have some players in your club already that can help out with this. Um, but we wanna take a look at some of the SPCs in the middle of this to drill down and look. 
And basically, if you look at the whole SBC cost in itself, and you see 353,000 coins over here, it, or if you, it's over here, if you see that, that's what's gonna scare you a little bit. But if you take it one SBC at a time and realize, okay, if I do the, Al the Alaves, um, De Deportivo Alaves, right here, 11 players from Deportivo Alaves. Flippin says it costs you 12,000 coins, and you get a small rare gold players pack, which is a pretty good pack. Um, basically, from the players that you get in that pack, I think it's like, that's not maybe half a 50k pack, but it's something like that. Now, that's an SBC that you could do that SBC for very cheap. If we go out and look on the market for these Deportivo Alves players, it says on Footpin that this SBC costs 12,000 coins. Co uh, an SBC costing in that range, that's not going to be a lot. You're paying 12,000 coins for probably, what is that, like a 25 or maybe like a 30, 25,000 coin pack or so? That's a decent deal. And basically all you need to do from this is get one or two good pulls, maybe an inform, maybe a Courtois, maybe two or three walkouts, which is definitely feasible from however many packs we're going to have here, like, tw like 30, 25 to 30 different teams that are in these leagues that you can do to get the packs from. Now, I do think that this La Liga SBC does provide you with the, um, the, be the most amount of quality packs per the league SBC. Now, I haven't looked through a lot of these, but as I look through a lot of these pla these packs that it gives out, a lot of them are player packs. Small gold, small prime gold players pack, small rare gold players pack, prime gold, premium gold, prime electrum, electrum gold players, like almost all these packs are gold players packs or players. Um, they're getting their player packs. So that's what makes this SBC in particular I think one of the most uh, eligible for this kind of method of running through the league SBCs and being able to do them for profit. Just because right now, if you pack a walkout, I mean, that's a guaranteed 20, 25,000 coins because a walkout is an 86 rated card or above. If you pack an 86 rated card, you're looking at Ederson, the cheapest one here for 23,000 coins. That's big time. Uh, that that's big time and that for most of these SBCs that you look at inside of the the La Liga SBC How many of them cost over 24,000 coins? We have Atletico Madrid at 23 Barcelona at 23 we have who else here? Who else any over 23 Real Madrid 56 K? Uh, Valo Valo did see okay. This one's expensive 30 K. That's probably because you need some silvers Useka 47 K 20k. So, I mean, that's what's really driving the prices of these up. Some of these ones that really require you to have rare silvers or a couple of rare players that you might have to drop like 6 or 7k on one player that's really driving the price up. Um, but all you need to pack is two or three walkouts during this entire process and you're going to cover if you you're going to cover those SBCs pretty easily, which uh, getting those walkouts, yes, you have to have a little bit of pack luck. Um, but I mean, this is a very feasible way of have, pulling packs. Or, I mean, it's always fun to open packs. It's always fun to do SBCs. It is time consuming. It's not an easy thing to do. I mean, it would definitely take you a couple hours to sit down to crank out this SBC just because you have 20 plus SBCs that you have to sit here and go through. Um, so it's not the most efficient way, but it's something to do and it's fun if you have time to do that You know you have a couple days where you can say all right Saturday or Sunday Monday Tuesday kind of in a time on FIFA where it's a little bit You know not as much content going on outside of a promo maybe I can focus on this La Liga SBC and, uh, and Get some of that done now. I want to look at marquee matchups because are we getting silver? We're not really getting silver packs this week from marquee matchups. I think maybe in a, I don't know about a prime electron players pack if there are silvers. Um, but usually I look at marquee matchups each week. And if I see like a silver players pack or anything like that, that really makes me interested in league SBCs because that is a supply for silver players. This is kind of how the silver players, they get their, their supply at any time uh, during the week. Um, and right now with a lot of people doing these league SBCs the, the silvers might be a little bit pricey and expensive if there are more people that are looking at these SBCs 
and that are doing them, which I think is absolutely uh, something that people are doing right now because it's gaining some, popula uh, some popularity on Twitter um, just because you've had some people tweeting out about it. Um, but like this Werner guy, <laughs> this is one of those cards that's really going to cost you. What's he going for? Wow, he's going for like 7,000 coins. Let me add this to my transfer targets and see what that goes for. Um, but a lot of these guys, guys are going to kind of be expensive. Another one from Huseka, 9,000 coins? Goodness gracious. So yeah, people are doing these SBCs um, right now. 17 or 18k for these silver guys. Now this, is, again, if we would have had silver packs and marquee, marquee matchups this week, you would have seen, seen a lot of those cards go down in value and maybe make this a little bit even more cheaper to do. Um, but still, uh, if you have any of these cards in your club and you can do it for cheaper, that's a decent way of uh, trying to make some profit right now in the game because there's just not a ton of stuff to do right now on the game except people are still completing these Icon SBCs. Um, the daily objectives, I do want to talk about those really fast. If you haven't done this daily objective, there is one of them that you have to do. Please do the James Collins uh, weekly objective score seven goals using players from the Republic of Ireland in squad battles and it's on minimum pro difficulty minimum pro difficulty so you can take less than an hour maybe two games go over here on pro difficulty professional um, and get seven goals with a player from Ireland the Republic of Ireland which let's see let's uh, let's see how cheap some of these Republic of Ireland players are. I'm sure it's not super duper cheap. I'm sure they are inflated. Um, let's see what they're going for. Maybe like a striker or a center forward. A striker or a center forward will go attacker from the Republic of Ireland. What are these guys looking like? <laughs> they're pretty cheap. They are pretty cheap. If you go out here, I know you, it's gonna take some skill, but you can go out here and get one of these guys and score a few goals and then boom you're going to be able to get that 86 rated player you know spend 30 minutes of your day getting an 86 rated player for free um that's that's huge for upcoming SBC. so um yeah i wanted to, i just wanted to bring this video to, to you guys today it's going to be a little bit shorter um just kind of talking about this league sbc phenomenon because right now it's a good time to go through and do some of these sbcs it uh, you don't have to go through every sbc and um complete the entire thing you could go into the premier league sbc do a few of them pick and choose some of the ones that give you a really good reward for how much it's going to cost you so let's go through here and see small rare gold players pack jumbo prime gold players pack you know rare mixed players packs those are pretty good because sometimes you get a rare silver like we saw that a rare silver you might get a rare silver that goes for like 10 5 to ten thousand coins um, so that could be a good one. Manchester City gives you a mega pack. Basically, Footbin is your friend on these. You can go into Footbin, as I was doing over here, go into Footbin, go into the League SBC section, and look through these squads um, and pick and choose a few of them that you see give out really good packs for a low cost of value. Rare Electrum Players Pack for Dortmund, 11,000 coins. Um, you know, take into account the cost of the pack, and you can kind of go from there. Now, some of these packs, the Prime Electrums, I think, are known for not doing very well, um, but the ones that I was looking at inside of the La Liga SBC, though, I've, I've had really good luck out of those. The small rare gold players packs, like the small rare gold, or um, there's one other that's like a small prime gold players pack. So those as well uh, can do very good. So this is just something to look at, something to kind of jog your guys' mind with. I haven't done a ton of this this year. This is something that people usually do during team of the season or, or during team of the year or during a time on the game when there's um, a big team in packs or team that like, you know, people are trying to pack team of the years. So they were going through and doing the cheap league SBCs to just get packs. Uh, this is... It's a method that people use to just get packs at some point during the year. And that's honestly a good way to get packs right now and open up packs because if you get anything that's an 84 rated or above, it is selling at an inflated price right now. So that's a decent way to make coins. Um, it's not the most conventional way, but it's more of a fun way. It takes time. It takes a little bit of a grind. Uh, but let's say you're you got a lot of investments in your transfer list that you're waiting to sell. Maybe some informs you're waiting for. 
uh, just for them to rise, this is a, an opportunity for you to go out and open some packs, maybe take a chance getting some sick pulls, and um, just have some fun. And you, you could even, if you get in, through an entire league SBC, uh, you could even get some of these cool league SBC reward cards. Um, I think La Liga would probably have the most enticing reward cards out of the bunch with Casemiro and Umtiti. Umtiti being the one that a lot of people go after. Uh, Premier League, I think we have Vardy, Ducore, and Lanzini. Bundesliga, do we have any good ones here? Kali, Aguirre, Delaney, and Nabry. Delaney is pretty sick. Um, but yeah, again, this is just another thing. I wanted to bring this video to you guys today just to kind of talk about this and talk you through this. Um, it is a popular way that a lot of people on Twitter have been making coins this year. Um, people have been doing this all year just to make coins. Um, but it's no different now, and it's even a, a really good time to do it now if you can do some of those SBCs for cheap um, because of how high some of these high rated gold players are. If you enjoyed this video or have any questions, comment down below. If you did enjoy it though, smash a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.